Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode of the Budget 4x4 Live. Today I'm going to show you how to install the cheapest work lights that you can find on eBay right now and run you through everything, how to install it and all the additional stuff you need to make this possible. So let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so this is what you get in the box. So a complete wiring harness with a fuse and a switch over there. And then also your work lights, so this is what they look like. Looks like the super cheap auto ones and the super center ones. Um, so those two together is $36 on eBay. And then the additional stuff you'll need just to make everything neat is some split tubing and also electrical terminals just to connect to um, these wires over here. So yeah, all up, it's about $54. So yeah, pretty cheap. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so this is what the wiring looks like. So obviously you got your relay, your fuse, that's going to the battery and then it runs all the way down here to the first work light and then the second work light and then obviously your switch and that's a very long wire there but anyway so that's your typical installation but I'm not going to do it that way because obviously my car is very small and that's not going to reach so I do not recommend this wiring harness for a long vehicle because this is my car and it's super small uh, unless you want to extend the wires but i am not going to do that because i don't like extending wires all right so i'm going to show you where i'm going to put my wires inside the car just so everything works out pretty good okay so this is what my wiring is going to look like so this is the switch I'm just gonna mount it in there and um, just underneath that thing I'm just gonna pull that out my mount it in there and then that switch gonna sit there so obviously this cable is very long so you want to sort of like plan out everything you're gonna do so that wire is gonna go through there run down here and then it's just gonna go back to this place now this is my ideal battery wiring um, which is pretty good because now I'm gonna be able to mount the relay onto the drawer there out of the way and then obviously the positive is gonna go there and the negative will go there so yeah that will have power once the car is on so that's not a problem um, so that's where I'm gonna get my power from instead of running it from the battery because it will be way too short all right then i'll show you where it runs through to the back the wire is running through here and then it will go up here so the wires will be able to go to the work lights that will be mounted over there and then obviously your other cable will run through there like that so yeah that's going to be my setup for today all right, so I'm just quickly gonna do my wiring and then once I'm done, I'll run you guys through it, show you what I've done. And just because you don't wanna watch me do it, it's pretty boring. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done and just so you can see how to do it yourself. So yeah, let me quickly get into this and do it. Oh uh, yeah, before I forget guys, it's also very important to disconnect your battery um, because yeah, it just makes it safe working on wiring and all of those things just so you don't short anything out or shock yourself. And also for the Anderson plug um, that I installed a few episodes ago, I am going to get an isolator just because it's safer and it will charge um, the dual battery in the trailer evenly, if that makes sense. So for all those people that said I needed an isolator, I ordered one. So yeah, I sort of learn as I go, but yeah. Got one ordered and it's on its way. But anyway, let's disconnect the battery and get into the wiring. Okay, so I have now installed the switch over there. So that's looking all good. I've run the wires through, but now we're at the back. So basically what needs to happen here is I need to connect the positive onto there. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is just unscrew this one, pull that out. Cool, so basically that's what it looks like. So all you need to do is take that off and it will be just some wires. Um, then I'm just going to cut it off there and make it a wire as well. There you go. 
wrap it around there and tie it up with this one so then it's all connected I'll show you what it looks like now Cool guys, I'm now done with the back. So as you can see over here, um, it's a joint in there, just like I showed you before. So that is all done. And then the negative goes there, all bolted down. So yeah, it's looking nice and neat. Let's move to the back. Awesome guys, so what we want to do now, let's see these ends, they need things that can go in here, so that's why we bought uh, these terminals, so we're just going to cram it on there, and then once that's on there you can just plug it straight in, mount in there, and it will be perfect. Right, so as you can see this fits and that's where the split tubing comes in. You just want to wrap it up in the tubing and look at that, it's going to be looking very good. Alrighty guys, it's now time to have a look, see if it actually works. Um, everything is now hooked up 
as you can see over there so it's looking very good so yeah let's try it out see if it works Well, there you go guys, we are now done. It came out looking extremely good. As you can see, everything is nice and professional, so I'm very happy with it. It's also very sharp. Um, I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like at night. Um, but yeah, from what I can say, it looks good and it's well worth the few dollars that I spent on eBay. So yeah guys, I hope this is informative. Thank you so much for joining in and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.